Hey guys, Dean here. So if you're having a problem with FPS and just general frame rate in CS2, aka Counter-Strike 2, I'm going to show you exactly how to fix that in today's video. I'm going to show you a launch of different console commands and launch parameters for launching the game and then the settings for the game in the in-game options to make it run a little bit smoother. So the first way we're going to start by doing this is we're going to go into the Steam library, locate Counter-Strike 2, and then from here we want to right click and click on properties so we can go into the properties menu dialog. Now from here, all you need to do is just scroll down and we have what's called launch options so this is where we have like the advanced launch parameters and we can type in a few things with dashes to actually configure the game on boot there's a few things we can do here first of all dash no vid that basically entirely disables the game's intro screensaver which is also kind of nice because it's a little bit annoying then we can just press space and do another one every time you do a different launch parameter or command it needs to begin with a space and then it starts with a dash so no vid then we can also do high what that does is it starts the game with a high priority in your task list on Windows so it gives more of a prominence to CS2. I guess it'll assign more of the processor power to it and make it kind of more in focus so it'll give it a bit more power in general, right? Then threads, what this does is it basically corresponds to the amount of cores or the threads in your computer and your CPU. So the number of processor cores that the game is actually assigned to use. And what you do is then you type in like threads. So I'm just going to type in like eight for an example. And then what you can also do is dash and then do no D3D 9EX. What this does is it reduces memory consumption and it speeds up the switching between the different windows. D3D9 stands for DirectX 3D9, which is like one of the most stable and slightly older versions of DirectX. A lot of things are running on, I think, 12 or 13 right now. Then also another one, no AA fonts. That removes font smoothing in the game. And then dash no space joy. Don't worry, that's not a command to remove all the fun from the game and suck all the joy from life. It actually means no joystick or gamepad support. All you need to do is just click off that now and just close it. Then the next time you launch CS2, it will actually launch with those game parameters. Now, we're going to jump into game and I'll show you some little commands that we can type in now to further enhance the effects of increasing frame rate. First of all, we have the commands R underscore with source 2. So these are some more performance based commands. The first one is R underscore CSGO water effect and then false. Now you can only do these commands, some of them, if you type in SV cheats one. So if we turn this off, basically what this does is it's the top effect in the water and disabling this makes FPS actually improve a bit. Now you'll notice on some servers it says convar is cheat protected so the change is ignored. You can't toggle them sometimes on servers unless SV cheats one's actually enabled. So you might need to create a config to actually enable some of these, but I'm just gonna show you some of the commands, what they do and how they work. Then there's also water refraction false. This is just generally water refraction, uses video memory, our show build info false that's in the bottom left where you see where it says october 04 that just disables that little label doesn't really do that much for video performance but it's just removing stuff on screen it'd probably only help if you have like a really old laptop our full screen gamma by default is this value here 2.200000 if we do 2.6 it gives us a little bit of a gamma change if we change it to 2.2 again you really can't really notice the difference. Then another one we can change is view model FOV 65. That just zooms the gun out a little bit. It's just the distance from the weapon in your hand. Doesn't really increase the video memory at all. And then the config. So if we go into the options now, we can change some things which will make the game run a little bit better. So advanced video is what we want to go on. So V-Sync is basically, if we turn that on, it'll keep a constant frame rate. So basically the game will kind of run constantly at a constant frame rate. We'll like cap it at 60 for an example. Example. This is like a video preview they've added in CS2 so you can kind of see how the game looks even if you're not in the game which is quite nice. So we can also change the current value let's just put this on low which as you can see just makes the game look terrible but it's obviously going to increase our performance even though we're running like a really high fps anyway now turn off vertical sync for an example will boost me back up so now i'm over 100 fps instead of like 60 and it hasn't even increased my fps that much by actually making the game look like dog water so we'll put it back up to a medium medium's kind of like the level to play on like older pcs where the game still looks decent i usually play on high or very high but obviously you want to get good graphic sends but if we were still running it on high for an example we could disable or turn down anti-aliasing mode to like a basic level that's just smoothing out the edges the shadow quality to like a medium model texture detail could turn that down to like a medium or even a low doesn't really ruin things too much texture filtering we could turn that down a lot as well most of these you don't really notice shaders particle details low you do definitely notice that a little bit ambient occlusion disable it that's yet again another lighting thing high dynamic range should always be quality if you want to have more fps 
and Fidelity FX, disable on it is the highest quality, but we can also select performance. Makes the game look terrible, but it's going to give you more performance. That's basically a setting just to have performance. It just generally makes the game look horrible, but <laughs> that's maybe to the length you might need to go to actually make your game have better frame rate. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. I don't really think changing that actually matters that much. And then that's basically all you have to do for video. And then obviously you can change your resolution. A lower res is obviously going to give you more FPS too, but it's going to make it harder to play. There's kind of like a balance between making things run faster and then after that, it's just diminishing returns. You're just making like your gameplay experience bad. If it comes to the point where you really really need to change your resolution lower than like 720p where it's not even HD. Probably not even worth playing the game because it's just going to be horrible to play. But these are just the basic settings you want to change and fiddle around with what they do and how you can increase your performance. You could also use a software like a game booster to actually increase your performance. But I don't actually run one on my computer. But I know there's software like IOBit Game Booster and things like that that you can try as well. Another thing is also turn off Windows Defender. So if you double click on Windows Security for an example on your computer click on virus and threat protection just turn off real-time protection whilst you're in a game and then it's going to use less computing power if you have a slow computer that might actually help you too turn off your antivirus if you have like malware bytes avg stuff like that while you're in game or get like a gaming antivirus that doesn't really use much processor or gpu memory there are also additional things you can do too so hope these tips were useful comment below if you need any help or if you want any more advice or if you can't get anything to work like the video and subscribe for more cs2 videos and i'll see you real soon